Sister President Laura Lott, sister and brother colleagues on the board of directors of our American Alliance of Museums, and to each and every one of you, my sisters and my brothers all, good morning. Please know that I am incredibly honored to be acknowledged for doing what I am supposed to do. <laughs> and that And that is to be of service to others. Indeed, that is what each of us is called to do. As the folks who grew me up in Jacksonville, Florida would put it, doing for others is just the rent you got to pay for your room on earth. Shortly after I received a letter indicating that I would be this year's recipient of an award for service to museums, I received an email, an email from Maurice Berger, a friend who is a cultural historian, curator, and art critic. Maurice referenced that it was 30 years ago that we co-directed the Race and Representation Project at Hunter College. That was a project in which Maurice Berger and Lowry Sims co-curated an exhibition. I chaired a symposium, and David Goldberg presented films. Now, I'm mentioning that project of 30 years ago because it speaks to two things about my work in and for museums. The first is that I've always had sense enough to know that working collaboratively is far better than working alone. As many of you know, I, I have a passion for proverbs and sayings. They teach us. And I'm especially fond of Proverbs had come from the only place on earth from which all of humanity has come, Africa. So here are two proverbs that lift up the truth about collaboration. One bangle cannot jingle. A second, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. In 2015, I was especially aware of how important and productive collaboration can be in our field when the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation collaborated with the Association of Art Museum Directors and the American Alliance of Museums. That's our American Alliance of Museums. To carry out the very first ever compositional diversity survey. The results of that survey gave us data. No alternative data, just <laughs> data. <laughs> Data that clearly indicates that we have a mighty long way to go before our museums include and are about not some of us, but all of us. Today, I have the privilege and the joy of co-chairing with Sister President Laura Lott AAM's working group on diversity, 
equity, accessibility, and inclusion. All of us who are in this working group know that if such urgently needed change is to take place in our museums, in our aquariums, at our zoological parks, we must not only take this work seriously as individuals, we must work collectively to get it done. Maurice Berger's reference to our collaboration on the Race and Representation Project back in 1987 is also a reminder that I, like some of you, have been in this struggle for diversity, equity, accessibility, and inclusion for a mighty long time. I dream of the day when we will be done with this work, when we will have reached the point where at last difference doesn't make any more difference. But I don't have to tell you that we are far, far away from the realization of such a dream. Recent events in our country and around the world have in fact stirred up attitudes and actions that are grounded in racism, sexism, heterosexism, anti-Semitism, ableism, ageism, and other systems of inequality. There are countless expressions now of Islamophobia and targeted attacks on the rights of people called immigrants. Aren't we all? Some folks speak of suffering from diversity fatigue, a condition that comes from seeing so few results after so many years of working in the interests of social justice. Social justice in our country, including in our museums, zoos, and aquariums. I refuse to go there. In fact, I see encouraging signs which suggest that many in our field are ready, or at least they're doing their best to get themselves ready, to own the reality that our boards, our staff, our exhibitions, our educational programs, and our visitors do not reflect the diversity in our communities, our nation, and our world. And just think about this. One of the three foci in AAM strategic plan centers in diversity, equity, accessibility, and inclusion. Years ago, who would have imagined that we would be here in St. Louis at AAM's annual meeting and museum expo under the conference theme, Gateways to Understanding, Diversity, Equity, Accessibility, and Inclusion in Museums. There's an old African-American spiritual that says, walk together, children, and don't you get weary. I'm respectfully editing those words to say, come on, y'all. <laughs> come on now, sisters and brothers all. We've got work to do, and don't you get weary, for no matter how difficult the struggle is 
for social justice, it is clear to me that we have no choice but to be in it. And And let us be encouraged by these words of President Nelson Mandela. It always seems impossible until it is done. Onward to getting it done. <laughs>